last week, you getting on my nerves to the fullest. You just whatever you expel from school. You know, you, you, you go to GD school. They done pissed you off. You done left from out of there. Mm. So it was just like, look at this shit. Block, but now I'm on the top. That's why I fuck these bad bitches and stuff my chain in my watch. Because I ain't never had shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm excited. But I'm just shocked because I'm watching the front seat. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So when he went, did he call you when he made it? I mean, he called the whole trip because keep in mind, he's a baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't care what. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, even getting his first tattoo, mama, what I need to put on this? And so he's still a baby. So he called, called. And what's the funny thing is that when he made it to Haddocksburg, I think it was, his clothes didn't make it the what? same time. So he panicked. But keep in mind, the rap battle happened the very next day of him getting to Philly. In the projects with just one room. So I had to sleep on the floor in the front room. Me and all my cousins on the block trying to thug. Nigga, you a schoolboy. Nigga, we were selling drugs. Wow. With the, the you know, the battle that so everybody knows wear? about. He had on his clothes, but he didn't they get went to, to the mall. He and, to wear. Yeah, he, he didn't oh, have he got some stuff. more clothes. So I believe, I'm not really even sure. I hadn't even had the discussion with um, Q to see. What he, you know, when he had on what he had on at the rap battle, they had to buy it. I was raised so illegal. The baddest nigga in the neighborhood talking back to Denisha at my house. It was real cold and lonely. My dad had been gone since four. Because, right. I mean, his clothes hadn't made it. Yeah. But him winning that $10,000, they mm. called maybe a day or two after to say that the clothes had made it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, boy, you need to get down there and go get them clothes. Because you called me all hysterical about the clothes. Now you done got your little money. You don't want to go get probably going shopping with that 10000 exactly. be like, I don't need these clothes. But, but he knew one thing. I worked my ass off for them clothes. Because yeah. I ain't stealing no more. Yeah. So I'm going to need you to go get these clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so he went and got them? Oh, he went and got them. So, so how long was he staying up there for? Because you said, you know, that was a couple of days and then the clothes came how long did he stay for? I think he was in Philly for about a week after. Once the rap battle happened, I think it was a few more days because then his team kind of flew up there within the next couple of days. So they might have been up there maybe maybe a week or two. I just remember yeah, it had to be a week or two because he didn't, he wasn't home for Christmas that year. Mm -hmm. wow. Were you nervous the whole time while he was gone? I kind of wasn't because my son a survivor. Like, he, he could just, he was his mama's child. And even like being in Dallas when I would work, Snoop survived. So I really didn't have that kind of worry. You see what I'm saying? Because nobody took care of him while you were at work. He was at home by himself? Even at eight years old, he was start. I, I would just tell him, don't you answer the door. Don't you do this. Don't you. So he was, I had to educate him to have him more mature, just like me. It was a cycle. It's like I had to have him ready mm -hmm. because we don't have anybody else but us. So I need you to be here. You're my team player at this point. You're not my kid. You're my team player. We got to make this work. Mm -hmm. So that's how it went. Wow. He, he's... Yeah, that's different, man. So he went up there. He won the battle. Was he, he, he excited? He called you when he won? He won his, He called me as soon as he won. But he said, Mama, I won. But the thing about it, he called me before he went in there. And he said, um, I'm about to go perform. To, no, nah, uh, I'm going in here and up. He said it was because it was T.I.'s uh, rap battle. Okay. I mean, his T.I.'s album release party is what okay. it was. So he said, I'm about to go into this rap battle. He said, and Meek is about to put up some money behind me. And this other guy's going to put it up for his artist. And he said something about T.I. And so you know how when you're growing up, just say, for instance, you know, your, your, your um, stepdaddy might have been Al Green. You know, your mama might have had a crush. So in them days but prior, before, when Snoop was like seven or eight, when T.I. first T. came I. out, I, that was like the little crush <laughs> at the time. Just because I was just a fan of the music more so because I thought I was a rapper. Mm -hmm. So... He um when he said T.I., I said, yo, daddy T.I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, that was that you can have whatever you like time, see. <laughs> so Snoop yeah. said that was way before then. That was, was it? When, yeah, that was when he um uh, that was, what did he come out? And, um, oh, the, you know, the uh, 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 motivation. Uh, uh, yeah, and motivation. Yeah, all and, uh, of them, like that uh, whole uh, uh, record. You don't know me. Man, yeah. The yeah. Whole, yeah, that was the one. So, yeah. You know, um. Head of the body, leader of the team. Oh, man, she <laughs> that nigga. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so that was so funny. So when Snoop said, Mama, get off the gas. It's not my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that was a little joke we did. But then he, um, I said, well, I'm going to pray that you win. Hey. And he said, man, I got that in a bag. Mm, he and knew that it. Confidence. Within 30, 40 minutes, he called. He was like, I won. Man, he went that thing. What was in. your reaction? Were you like I jumping for joy? I was excited for him because... It's, it's like, just, just think about this. This was like a disbelief. Last week, 
you getting on my nerves to the fullest. You just whatever you expel from school. You know, you, you go to GD school. They done pissed you off. You done left from out of there. Mm. So it was just like, look at this shit. Block, but now I'm on the top. That's why I fuck these bad bitches and stuff my chain in my watch. Because I ain't never had shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm excited. But I'm just shocked because I'm watching the front seat. And you have to accept all of this. As much as you saying, you're not going to be a rapper. You're not going to yes. this. You're not going to that. Gosh, he was determined. To be day, what he wanted to be. How can I get in between when him and God had going? Mm. Snoop yeah. prayed so hard, and he asked God for certain things. And so, who am I to stand in between what God gave him for his life? And he had a relationship with God. He definitely. So he did. would he would pray about it about his career and he everything. He got on his knees and prayed about everything. He told me, Mama, sometimes you got to get on your knees and ask God for what you really want. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.